What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks here with another installment of Two Minute Tips, no-nonsense tutorials to answer your specific questions about Logic Pro in around, or maybe not even close, to two minutes. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be talking about how to figure out the tempo of your song. So a lot of applications for this, but a big one would be you've got something figured out outside of Logic, you need to get that tempo in here so that you can start recording it. You could record a little piece of it in here without using a metronome. I like to use voice memos on my iPhone and just airdrop them in. So if you go up to the browsers tab, I'm gonna grab one of those and just drag it directly in. Now you'll see my settings are the default for tempo, so 120 and keep tempo. I'm going to leave those as they are. I will bring up the global tracks so you can see what is going on with the tempo. If you double click on the audio region, you'll see over here on the right is smart tempo. Click analyze. That's going to analyze it like flex time would and give us all this beat information. You do need to check that your downbeat has been placed correctly. So if your song starts on a downbeat, then uh, you would wanna make sure that there was a downbeat, which is indicated by the brighter orange lines. Um, if you needed to move a downbeat, you can hover over the top circle of any of the other beats and choose those as the downbeat if your song starts on an offbeat. That not being the case, I'm gonna move over here to edit and apply region tempo to the project tempo. And what this is gonna do is gonna take all of this beat information that we just got and it's gonna apply it to the whole project. So uh, this is just asking, do we want the downbeat that we've selected in the audio region to match up with the downbeat in the project, basically. So if you have got your downbeat in the right place, the answer is going to be yes. Hit apply, you'll see that shifted over a little bit. And now you can see that Logic has mapped for the whole project all of these little tempo changes in my song. And if we play that with the metronome, you'll be able to hear. So that lines up perfectly with what I played, even though I didn't play to a metronome because Logic has adjusted the tempo for that. Now, if you have purposeful tempo fluctuations, you're gonna wanna leave those alone. But um, in most cases, you're probably looking for a single tempo that you can follow through a song. So what you can do is select all of these uh, tempo markers in here, right click, and you could hit replace by average. So that's gonna take an average of all those markers and it's gonna come up with a tempo that was probably what you, what you were shooting for when you played it. So I got 118.2. And now of course that's not gonna match up with my audio region, but we can get rid of that because that was just to figure out uh, how this is gonna go inside of the project. And now you're ready to start recording. If you're digging today's content, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting new videos every week. You can also check out SojournerTracks.com and grab yourself some free guides that are going to help you create more memorable, amazing music at home. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.